Right then, um, you may well have been asked to do some work on, on Hegarty Max. Um, you might not be too familiar with it. So let's just take you through a few of the basics. So you can see there, look, I've just Googled Hegarty Maths. So just go to Hegarty, just click on that. Um, and it takes us to uh, the uh, the login screen for, for Hegarty Maths. So if I go to student login, um, now you'll be asked what the school is. So if I just type in Churchill, if you know the, the postcode for the school, um, and it just comes up with the different options there. Now, believe it or not, um, Churchill is not the only Churchill school in, in the country. There are other Churchills, um, mainly because uh, this guy just up here, look. Um, so we're Churchill Academy. So I just go and click on there. Just make sure that you do click on the right school, otherwise you won't be able to get logged in. And then just go and enter your, your details in here. So your first name, here you go, look. So my, my first name isn't actually Mr., but my second name is Miss Skeen. Um, and this is the 14th. I won't give you the rest of my, uh, um, it's not it's not January. And but just make sure that you put your correct date of birth in. If I can put my year in, I'm going way back down here somewhere. Okay, well, look at that. Right back down there. Um, okay, so then if you just go through next, and then you'll get the option to uh, to enter a, a password. If you if you've done it and you've got your password, there's an icon on there to um, to let your teacher know um, to reset your password. Um, okay, so when you're logged in, and so this is a this is a year ten student um, who who just happens to have some some tasks set. So just what I'd use to do is a uh, just as an example. So um, this little icon up here. So if your teacher has set you a task, then you'll be set a task from up here. So that'd be like your current task list um, just there. All right. So I'm going to go for, I'm just, just going to open one up. I don't know. I'm going to start this task just down here. And there's a there's a video and there's a, a quiz. So the quiz is just some questions. Um, but um, what you... You know, if you, if you feel like 100% confident about the task, you know, well, why not just go and just try the quiz and that's fine. Um, likelihood is, is that you probably look at the quiz and do you, uh, obviously there might be things there that you might not be sure about. So good practice really is to go and watch the video. So I'll just play a few moments of it for you. Okay, so hopefully you get the idea, right? So. You know, I would go through, I'd watch that video, um, which would be really useful. Now, if you uh, if you don't do very well on the quiz and you've watched the video and you're not too sure what to do, then there's what we call building blocks underneath. And they're kind of, they're sort of like, found, you know, they're like the, the founding blocks to, to be able to do this up here. Now, this is actually quite an advanced task up here. Um, so there's a number of things that, uh, that this student would need in place before they can... They, they should be able to do it. So if they're struggling with this up here, then they may go and do these things just down here, first of all, right? That would be a sensible kind of course of action. Now, let's say you haven't got any tasks there, or you've done your tasks and you want some more work to do, then what you can do is you can come over here, and this choose lesson, right? Now, this is really useful. Now, there's, there's lots of other things that you can actually do in Hegarty. Um, I'm just taking you through a few, and, and go and explore, right? Go and try a few things out, right? You're not gonna break anything. Um, so if I if I look at this uh, number, okay, so I've, I've choose a lesson. I'm going to go into number. Now there's there's lots and lots of different sections that you can look at here, right? What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to scan down. I want to do some work on let's say um, what do I want to do? Uh, negative numbers. Okay, right. Negative numbers always a good thing to go and do some work on, right? So I just clicked on negative numbers. All right. Um, and I'm going to pick something in, in here, dividing positive and negative numbers. So I'm going to pick on, on this one. All right, there we go. And, and there we are. I can go and do my quiz. Now, all this will be recorded. Um, what's even recorded is the length of time that you watch the video. So if you've been set a task and you didn't know what to do, you don't get a very good mark, what your teacher can see is that they can see how long you watched the video for. Right, how much of the video that you've actually watched. So um, so it's no good turning around and say, oh, I didn't understand uh, if you haven't actually watched the video, right? So yeah, if you get everything right, then oh, then that's fine, isn't it? But um, if you 
if you struggle, right, if you're not sure, then what they would be looking for is that you've watched the video. And then again, there's the building blocks underneath. So these things are like easier than this part up here, but these are the things that you need to know to be able to to do these tasks up here. Now there's loads and loads that you can do. Now every time you go and do a quiz, that gets logged with your teacher. They will be able to go and see that, right? What you've done, what mark you've got, right? So everything is kind of kept there, right? So again, I can go back to choose a lesson any time. I can go and try something else out. There is lots in there, right? There is more than um, uh, enough work there to go and do. So if you're uh, if you're a little bit unsure what to do. Go and go and give those a go. All right, so hopefully it's just a little bit of information about Hegarty Maths for you. All right, just to go and get you started. All right, so go and give things a go.